Android is an open source platform founded in October 2003 by Andy Rubin and backed by Google, along with major hardware and software developers such as Intel, HTC, ARM, Motorola, and Samsung that formed the Open Handset Alliance. In October 2008, HTC released the HTC Dream, the first phone to use Android. The software suite included on phone consists of integration with Google's proprietary applications such as Map, Calendar, and Gmail, and a full HTML web browser. Android supports the execution of native applications and third-party apps which are available via Google Play, which launched in October 2008 as Android Market. By Q 2010, Android became the best-selling smartphone platform. In 2007, Apple Inc. introduced the iPhone, one of the first smartphones to use a multi-touch interface. The iPhone was notable for its use of large touchscreen for direct finger input as its main means of interaction, instead of stylus keyboard or keypad as typical for smartphones at the time. In July 2008, Apple introduced its second generation iPhone with a much lower list price and 3G support. Simultaneously, they introduced the App Store, which allowed any iPhone to install third party native applications. Further in offer 500 applications at launch. The App Store eventually achieved 1 billion downloads at the first year and 15 billion downloads by 2011. In February 2010, Microsoft unveiled Windows Phone 7 with a user interface inspired by Google's Metro Design language to replace Windows Mobile. Windows Phone 7 integrates with Microsoft services such as Microsoft SkyDrive, Office, Xbox, and Bing, as well as non-Microsoft services such as Facebook, Twitter, and Google accounts. This software platform runs the Microsoft mobile smartphones and has received some positive receptions from the technology press and been praised for its uniqueness and differentiation. Firefox OS, originally called the Boot to Gecko project, was demonstrated by Mozilla in February 2012. It was designed to have a complete community-based alternative system for mobile devices using open standards and HTML5 applications. The first commercially available for Firefox OS phones were ZTE, Open, and AltaCal One Touch Fire. As of 2000. 14 more companies have partnered with Mozilla including Panasonic, which is making a smart TV with Firefox OS and Sony. The Selfish OS is based on the Linux kernel and Mer. Additionally, Selfish OS includes a partial or completely proprietary multitasking user interface programmed by Hoya. This user interface differentiates Hoya smartphones from others. Selfish OS is intended to be a system made by many of the Mego team, which left Nokia to form Hoya, utilizing funding from Nokia's Bridge program, which helps establish and support startup companies formed by ex Nokia employees. Tizen is a Linux based operating system for devices, including smartphones, tablets, in vehicle infotainment, IVI devices, smart TVs, laptops, and smart cameras. Tizen is a project within the Linux Foundation and is governed by Technical Steering Group TSG, composed of Samsung, Intel, among others. In April 2014, Samsung releases Samsung Gear 2 and the Gear 2 Neo. Running Tizen, the Samsung Z1 is the first smartphone produced by Samsung. It was released in the Indian market on 14 January 2015. Ubuntu Touch, also known as Ubuntu Phone, is a mobile version of Ubuntu operating system developed by Canonical UK LTD and Ubuntu Community. It is designed primarily for touchscreen mobile devices such as smartphones and tablet computers. In 1999, RIM released its first BlackBerry devices, providing secure real-time push email communications on wireless devices. Services such as BlackBerry Messenger provide the integration of all communication into a single box. There are 8 million active BlackBerry service subscribers and the 200 million BlackBerry smartphone was shipped in September 2012. Most recently, RIM is has undergone a platform transition, changing its name to BlackBerry and marketing new devices on a new platform named BlackBerry 10. Symbian was originally developed by Psyon as 
EPOC32. It was the world's most widely used smartphone operating system until Q4 2010. Though the platform never gained popularity or widespread awareness in the US as it did in Europe and Asia. The first Symbian phone, the touchscreen Ericsson R318 smartphone, was released in 2000 and was the first device marketed as a smartphone. It combined a PDA with mobile phone. In February 2011, Nokia announced that it would replace Symbian with the Windows phone as the operating system of all its future smartphones, with the platform getting abandoned throughout the following few years.